Producer, co-writer, and uh, lead actor in Speak Up, Brother. I am Cameron Carr. I am first assistant director and executive producer on Speak Up, Brother. I'm Obi West, and I am one of the writers to write Speak Up, Brother. Our, one of our main objectives with this film was trying to spotlight these different communities and uh, show Harlem as a landscape, right? As and this is a kind of a, a stage one of showing the beauty of Harlem and showing how you can put it on the map and on the film. Uh, but really just normalizing a bunch of different themes as, as we've spoken about, you know, communication, uh, the impact through, you know, the versatility of poetry, um, how you can connect with someone through that versus regularly speaking. Um, but all these things, all these different themes, you know, it's, it's not only educational impact, but it's communication impact. It's, it's you know, uh, psychological impact. So it's just kind of spreading that and normalizing the, the world that we swim within, right? These, these different uh, moments of thought. Our expectations was to pretty much display the effort. There was a lot of work put into this, and it's like being a seamstress. You have an idea in your head, you give it to a seamstress, and then they walk out with your idea on a hanger, right? So to go in there and just see our idea hanging on the screen, that was pretty much the expectation for me, and we was able to do that. I'm Wes, yeah. I'm Wes Andre Goodrich, I directed it. Uh, I think in terms of uh, how it relates is we haven't gotten a lot of films about black men dealing with uh, anxiety and mental health. I think it's a thing that's always been in our community and I think it's something that's been neglected. And I think being able to make a film where that is a major aspect of our main character but it is not treated as some kind of a stigmatized thing, uh, it's actually something that he uh, has to live with and work with. It's something that's incredibly important uh, for me as a filmmaker and I know it was for Rod uh, as an actor. So. As an actor, um, there are mediums that like are necessary in our craft that aren't being like respected or received well because of the way they're being put out. Right? Spoken word is Black Shakespeare, you know, and the the reason that it's not received in our our normal mediums is because of the way that it's being put out. Not being forced to communicate in this 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 way, you know, like you said, communication is key and important in our lives right now, but communication is missing. We tried to discover a, a new love language, you know, if you will, a new communication form that stays true to our culture, but also like really elevates, elevates everything that we're doing. So that was what was exciting for me. Dances with, with films. films. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said dancing. 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 D
Love. 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 Love.